let's follow this guy. Is this, this is an SV. Is that SV1000 or a 650? We're gonna find out right here. He's got dual exhaust on his, his, his tire seems bigger than mine, so maybe it's a 1000. Let's go down, man. Is that SV1000? Yeah, 1000. Yeah? I saw the dual exhaust and I was like, you know, it looks like a 650, but I'm betting it's a 1000. <laughs> How do you like it? I like it. Good? Yeah. Cool. How long have you had it for? What was that? 750? Uh, 650, yeah. It's cool. Oh, Christ almighty, am I tired. I don't know how many of you guys live with women, but I just spent about four hours trying to clean out my closet, my bedroom closet. And it is not like, I feel like I have done nothing because there is so much damn fucking clothes and shoes in there, I cannot imagine. Especially like even the freaking shoes. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how one person can accumulate that many shoes. I have like four pairs of shoes, including my motorcycle ones. And that's all I have. May is motorcycle like awareness month in the United States. It's motorcycle awareness month. So it means that there is an advertising campaign and everything going out for people to look out for motorcycles like myself here on the road. Now for people in other countries you might not get that because everyone kind of just rides all year round or whatever and it's not a big deal. Um, but here it's a little bit, it's a little bit different and I'll tell you why. Because this is like really really good experience or good a good example of why I'm actually talking about this right now. And why I've actually even talked about the subject uh, in the past as well. So if you go to this page, and I don't know how many of you guys have joined it, it's a Facebook page. It's called YouTube Motor Vloggers and Friends. You guys, I definitely recommend you uh, join it. It's an interesting place to actually go on and have a little combo about motorcycles and motor vlogging and all that other kind of stuff. But um, there is a link posted on there that someone made on R6 forums that says, and this is like from the user, and I'll, again, I'll link it, so whatever, but this is his Facebook comment that he posted on their page was that, um, <laughs> He shouldn't have to look out for motorcycles because people that ride motorcycles are are idiots basically like he he, he mentioned that he says I'll look out for you guys on Saturday and Sunday but for you guys that are actually riding during the week while I'm trying to get to the road screw you guys and I don't give a fuck if I run into you and I run you over with my car you people are too dumb and too immature not to buy a car and choose something as stupid basically as a motorcycle as your primary means of transportation and if you get hit and run over then fucking that's your own problem that ain't none of my problem and that is the attitude that is around in the United States um, about people on motorcycles like that shit happens like people do not really give a shit about it he mentions that you know these things are called recreational vehicles basically for a reason because they're for recreation you shouldn't be fucking driving around during the work week when he has to get to work and he has to do something out of the ordinary just for you on a motorcycle now I ask you <laughs> what you guys actually think about his actual particular comment. Isn't that the same as these people that are walking on the road right now, walking on the sidewalk? They're gonna be at the crosswalk right there looking out for them that are crossing. These people right here that are crossing, I'm looking out for them. I'm not just gonna plow into them because I don't feel like they should be walking on the sidewalk, that they should have a freaking car or whatever, and you shouldn't walk wherever you want to actually walk. There's rules of the road. And that's what you gotta follow. It's mind-blowing to me that this guy does not give a fuck and he says it's your fault if I fucking kill you basically is what he's saying. Like I don't give a shit, run you over, blah. I got a family, I gotta support them, I gotta go to work, I drive my car like a grown-up, you drive your motorcycle like an asshole, like an immature little kid. Is basically what he's coming out and saying. 
What do you guys think about that, man? And I'd like to know, like, please mention what country you're actually from when you guys are actually posting down in the comments because I'd like to see what the attitudes are when you change countries. If people are as hostile to motorcycles um, as they are in the United States. You guys may not realize this, but really, like, we're not, we're not liked here. I mean, a lot of people do share that similar type of, you know, opinion that we shouldn't be on the roads. And the same thing for people on bicycles. People on the road do not believe that people should actually be bicycling around on the road, even though it's a shared, you know, traffic fucking way to go around. It's like, you should be able to do that. Same thing with people that cross the street and are walking on the roads. You follow the rule of the road so that people can get around how they want to get around. So that's all I got for you guys. Just leave me an opinion on below what you guys think and I'll post the links. Go ahead and join that freaking forum. It's a good forum to join. Join in on the conversation. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.